You would have the most unique perspective on this because you stayed there. What is the governor's mansion like on the inside, the private part of it? Well, it, it's very beautiful. Uh, I had, Brenda and I moved in in January of 91, and Governor Thompson, one of the last things he did is had that remodeled, so it was all fresh. Uh, there are uh, several antique pieces of furniture in the private quarters. Uh, See, we had, there's three bedrooms, uh, an office, a, a little kitchen area, then a, a living room. And uh, we spent uh, a lot of time in the living room uh, and in the uh, little breakfast area. The, during my eight years as governor, uh, usually the only time that Brenda and I had just to ourselves was at breakfast in the morning. And we would uh, sit in there and she'd try to hide the papers from me so I wouldn't get upset early. And uh, they'd send us up the breakfast. Uh, one of the nice things in the mansion is you have a cook. Uh, Brenda, I, I think, especially enjoyed that. I enjoyed it too. And uh, so we'd, we'd have a, a quiet breakfast, and that would be kind of the only time we knew during the day for sure that we'd be together and not have other people and a lot of other things going on. Uh, the rest of the mansion is pretty much open to the public except there's a, a family quarters in the, the lower level, uh, which is where we'd watch TV. It, it uh, had a very comfortable couch, and there was a dining room off the side of that, and we would take most of our evening meals there. Then if we were going to be home and not do anything and watching TV, we'd watch TV there. If we had people over, maybe, and they were going to watch TV with us, uh, like if family, the kids were back home, we'd watch TV downstairs. Uh, we had two dogs, uh, Emmy and Daisy, and uh, you know they would be in the room there with us. Uh, they became very proficient uh, riding the elevators. Uh, people would come to the mansion and get on the elevator, and there'd be these two golden retrievers, and they were just kind of riding up and down. And uh, <laughs> They would pop in when the... When yeah, they, they'd be wherever they wanted to go, and they knew about the elevator, in fact. People ask, how did they take the transition when we left the mansion after eight years? And I said, well, they, they took it pretty well, except they kept looking for the elevator. <laughs> um, so you, when you, in your eight years as governor, you were living in the mansion full yes. time? Yes. Uh, that's where we had uh, all, about all our clothes. We also, though, maintained a, we'd had a home out of the south part of Springfield, which we sold after I got elected. Then we bought a log cabin north of Springfield, which was kind of our getaway. Uh, I think no matter how nice the mansion is, it's still not a home. It's, it's, it's kind of a museum in many ways. And, uh, you know, there'd be Saturday mornings that I didn't have anything to do, and I'd be wandering around downstairs in the mansion yelling at the dogs and, you know, not necessarily dressed in my hair combed properly. And all of a sudden, here come through a bunch of high school kids. Uh, so. We needed, I think anyone needs a place to get away. Like at the national level, the president goes out to Camp David or wherever. And uh, so we had our own Camp David, though I paid for it. Uh, and we would, on weekends, particularly during the, uh, the warmer weather, we'd get out to the cabin uh, and uh, kind of, we had our regular furniture in there. So it was kind of like going home. Uh, but uh, most of the nights we spent at the mansion. Uh, again, it was a lovely home. It wasn't a home, it was a lovely house, let me put it that way. Uh, the staff was very gracious and took care of us very well. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we enjoyed our time there. As I, Brenda and I, when we moved in the mansion, I'll never forget the first morning we woke up and we look up and right over our bed is this chandelier that we figured probably cost more than our first two homes. And uh, we kind of looked at each other and we said, what are we doing here? Two kids from downstate Illinois, you know, living in this mansion. It's by far the nicest home house we'll ever live in. Uh, and uh, we always viewed it as an honor and a, really a, a privilege to, to live in that mansion. And uh, I have to say our kids did not enjoy the mansion. They didn't feel they were at home. They felt like they were in a fishbowl. Mm -hmm. And I think you've got to, people have got to remember that, that uh, whoever the governor is and the family, they need to get away. They need to have some place they can go and kind of let their hair down and, and be themselves. And it's a little hard in the governor's mansion. But Brenda and I, we enjoyed our time in the mansion, and we felt it was a great privilege for us to be there. And, uh, you know, we, we have just very happy memories, and the staff was very good. and. Uh, uh, I still miss uh, the guy that actually polished my shoes. My shoes haven't been that 
polished sense. So there, there are a lot of perks, and it goes along with uh, some of the demands on the job. But we, we felt the mansion was one of those perks that we very much enjoyed. And uh, look back fondly on those eight years that we were able to call that our home. Is it a, a one, and this is kind of an odd question, but is it a perk that maybe is too much of a perk when you're looking at the financial situation? Of no, again, I, I think it's, it's something that, uh, you know, because we didn't have to worry about a lot of the household details, that frees you up to worry about the big issues. Uh, it's it's kind of why you have a driver, it's why you get to fly things. Uh, it gets you places quicker because you need to be places, you need to be a lot of places as governor. Uh, and if you had to drive every place, you wouldn't get that many places. Uh, if you had to drive yourself, uh, I did a lot of work in the back seat of the car uh, on the phone or reading memos that I don't get to do now when I drive. I mean, I. I have to say that I, I used to find that very productive. I don't, even when I was flying up to Chicago, I'd get a lot of work done on the plane. I don't get that much work done now when I'm driving a car. Now, I'm not the governor, so it's not as important that I get work done, and it's not as important to the taxpayers. But I think to the, the taxpayers, uh, the mansion is not uh, too much of an expense uh, for the state because of the historical nature, and also it does provide the governor an opportunity, I think, to do his job better. Uh, it gives the people of the state a chance to come and feel like they're part of government, which I think is important. Uh, <clears throat> now, I, I don't think you <clears throat> ought to eat lobster every night or have ex exorbitant parties. We never did. Uh, but again, I, I think as the mansion is now maintained, uh, I think it's, it's uh, it, to me, it's an acceptable expense. But it is a per, I mean, why do you want to be governor? Well, you want to be governor to get things done. You want to be governor because you have a pretty healthy ego. And I always thought I want to be governor. I want to live in that, that house. It was also nice. Our church was right across the street. And I have to tell you, we were never late for church when we lived out in Chatham. I don't think I was ever on time for church once I lived across the street. So maybe that was a, a perk that didn't work out as well. But because uh, I, I think they used to shake their heads when we'd walk in right when they were singing the first hymn because you think you can cut it close. But uh, the mansion also, because you're right downtown, I used to walk the work every day. Um, and I think the fact that you were there and the Capitol was just a block away, again, it made it much uh, more convenient to, as governor. Uh, gave me the opportunity, as I said, to slip home a few times and have lunch with my wife uh, or to have people over to have a relaxed lunch when sometimes you can get more done and you can in a, a meeting in the Capitol. So, no, I, I think it's, uh, it's a... Uh, it, it does cost money, but I think it's well worth it uh, if it's used properly. Thank you so much. Okay.